like I wanted to talk about your kind of uh, your journey, your fucking journey through BMX. Uh, yeah. I, so I watched your dig um, Q and A, uh, and you, I kind of I get the gist of like how you started. Basically, like you found you were a skateboarder, you found a mongoose mm -hmm. bike, and you hit a spine, and then it took you broke your chain four times, but then you're hooked. You're like, all right, yeah, now now much. I ride BMX. Like, how old were yeah. you at that point? Dude, I think I was like 13 or 14. Okay. Where and then, them lines. So that's like perfect age to just be learning tricks. You're fucking yeah, to just obsessed. A, yeah, not job, just jumping off weird shit and so on. Yeah. What was yeah. uh like uh, earliest memory of like learning tricks? Because everybody has, you know, their I guess bunny hops and then 180s. What was your first, you know, first couple of tricks that you got Dude, dialed? I think it was a, a well dialed, I think it was bar spins, because like there was like older dudes at the park, you know, and yeah. they'd just be like, they were really good and we were really shit. So they'd be like, oh, it's it's not even hard. Just you do it like this. So then I was like, there was like three of her, like me and three of my homies. And then we'd just go out the fly out and just chuck a bar spin or some shit, you know, yeah. or do a tail whip and the bike would be fucking way out over there. there somewhere, you know. Yeah. But then I just started like going to the park every day and just I throw bar spins the wrong way naturally. So it made it harder. And then I'd just be there. Like, I didn't go to school, really. Didn't go to college. Didn't go to university. Yeah. So, like, I was just at the skate park every day, grinding to learn bar spins. And then that's, that's, that's how it happened. works, man. That's how you get yeah. as good as Joe Jarvis. You fucking dedicate and go practice literally all the time. You have to be obsessed. I feel like you you were obsessed. Oh, 100%, dude. Like, all of my friends got, like, jobs and went to college. And one of them went to university. And just some of them are, like, really successful now, you know? Yeah. And then they, they see me walking around and, like big baggy pants and yeah like a cast on my foot sometimes like scruffy haircut and like still riding that kid's bike and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how and old are you now that, look, uh, i just turned 26 nice happy birthday oh thanks bro yeah that's that's the, that's what they call it hey, you still riding those kids bikes around doing them stunts yeah like, dude yes <laughs> yeah. yes fuck now, it. yeah i always say like some of the people i went to school with like they ask and i'm like yeah it's got my name on it now that's pretty cool like, well, how does that work you know like and i'm just like but they're the, they're the same people that like never leave their hometown yeah or they're exactly. going like one family vacation to like some fucking shithole in spain yeah i think like you know stuff yep. like that so they just work their safe job like go the traditional route of life get a job get married yeah. have kids and all that Dude, which is no that. hate on that but no, I, real, uh, but I ain't my cup of tea yeah reach the end of the video hopefully you enjoyed that clip if you want to support me and the podcast just subscribe and share the show with your friends the full episode is in the description so if you haven't go check that out it's also available on spotify and apple podcasts and wherever you listen to podcasts and uh the goal is just to grow so if you could share the show with your bmx homies i'd be dope anybody that you know that is a bmx nerd and would enjoy this podcast do me that favor and we'll keep all these clips coming and, and one episode every week so i'll see you in the next one thank you